Hey guys, it's me Zayn and today we're gonna talk about the toxic coating on succulent leaves. Okay guys, so today I thought I'm gonna discuss, I'm gonna mention this waxy coating on succulent leaves because some succulents have it and some succulents don't. For example like this, this is my Echeveria agavoides, which you can see it's pretty much green, there is a little bit of reddish tinge and the edges of the leaves and this is my Echeveria lowi or Lewii, I'm not sure how to pronounce it and as you can see it has this bluish color to it and this waxy coating on the leaf. Uh, so today we're gonna talk about this coating on the leaf, what is that, why is that, what to do with it, if there's anything I have to warn you about, so yes we're gonna talk about this today. Okay so some succulents have this waxy coating on their leaves, some succulents don't have it, so those succulents which have this waxy coating are this bluish colored and a little bit bluish and greenish colored succulents, for example like this one which I already showed you, my Akira Yellowy, or for example this one. I don't know the ID for this one but as you can see it's not pure green, it has this bluish tinge to the leaves. So these types of succulents have this bluish tinge to the leaves, that means they have this waxy coating. But some succulents, for example my Echeveria agavoides doesn't have this waxy coating on the leaves. The leaves are just green, there is some uh, reddish color to the leaves but that's that, that's all the color it has. Leaf surfaces are rather shiny and these waxy coating leaves are rather powdery to the touch. So let's start with this whole topic by well, categorizing succulents. So there are the succulents which doesn't have this coating on the leaves. The second type is the succulents with this waxy coating and the third types of succulents are those which have hairs or spines on the surface of the leaves, like many of the cacti have spines all over the place. There are some of these rosettes types, for example, which can have these hairy leaves. There is a fine hairy coating on the surface of the leaf. These three types of succulents are these most basic types which right now I'm mentioning. Okay, so the reasoning behind all this um, categorizing succulents is that those types of succulents which have no coating on the leaves, only a little bit of that reddish anthocyan and the so-called stressed succulents which have this reddish color but that they are not stressed, check the video in the link in the corner, I have a video about that. But those succulents which are green, they tend to prefer shadier locations, sometimes they tend to prefer more water and they prefer less heat. These greenish ones don't have that coating, they have less protection to the leaves, so they can more easily burn than these coating leaf surface thingy ones. So these succulents which are green are a little bit a one step closer to like regular plants, let's say. They haven't that coating which has a lot of functions. And this coating on the surface, which can be also this powdery stuff, this waxy powdery stuff, or also it can be this hairy or spiny stuff stuff on the surface of the leaves, these have a function which actually helps the succulent to survive in more harsh conditions. Now the leaf surface, this outer skin of the leaf is called the cuticle of the plant and for example in this case the cuticle doesn't have that waxy powdery coating which is actually called epicuticular wax. These types of succulents, these bluish ones, have that epicuticular wax thing going on on the leaf surfaces and while this coating on the leaves has hydrophobic organic compounds. So that means that it will actually repel water and if you observe that for example at watering, if a droplet of water actually gets on this coated leaves, it will create small drops, it won't like be spread on the surface, small drops will be created and they really easily run off the leaf. So that's why it's hydrophobic. Okay, so this coating on the leaf, this wax has actually five main functions. And well, the first function, which is the most important and the most basic function, is the reducement of moisture loss. 
So this coating will actually help the plant to preserve more moisture inside the leaf so the moisture is trapped inside and this is actually a barrier for the moisture inside the leaf and it can get out. The second function is the reflection of UV light and the UV light is, well, let's say more harmful. The UV light cannot get through that much this other coating because, well, it's light as well, it reflects that light and it cannot get that much inside, it cannot damage that much these leaves so they cannot burn that easily. The third function is the temperature reducement. Well, yeah, it's lighter in color, it reflects light more, so the temperature is less inside the leaves. So that's actually connected to this UV light part, but yeah, the temperature and the temperature reducement is also one function. This coating on the leaves is also a sort of a barrier for the pathogens and so they cannot get inside the leaf and well this is a barrier for them and they cannot damage the plant so the pathogens cannot get through this waxy coating and the, and the fifth function is well I didn't know about that it's really interesting but this coating is an anti-climb surface as well so I think that means that the bugs and the little creepy crawler thingies cannot climb up on this coating that easily maybe it's slippery for them or something like that I think it's really interesting and I didn't know about that but as I was researching for it I actually found an article where it said I think it's Wikipedia that it's an anti-climb surface and I think it's really interesting and here I have to mention one fun fact which I have written down here because I wouldn't remember it so I said one function is the UV light reflection. There is one species, the Dallaia brittonii, which actually is the most efficient in reflecting the, the UV light because the highest UV light reflecting of any known species is that one and that coating on that species has the highest UV light reflecting of any known natural, natural biological substances. So I think it's really interesting also. Now let's talk about this, uh, well let's say physical properties of this waxy coating. This waxy coating is being created always by the production of new leaves. So when there is a new leaf created in the center of, for example, in the center of a rosette, that leaf will be created with this waxy coating on it. It's not like that there is the, there is the leaf born first and after it it gets this coating as it is produced the waxy coating will be visible and will be on the surface of that new leaf and it will well start to protect that leaf yeah this is not the best example the better example is this one right now for this function while this coating will be present on all the leaves and by all the leaves I mean yes all the leaves on the rosette but if a succulent creates an offset like this one here or it creates a flower spike it is created it is created on a longer stem but on the stem there are leaves as well and those leaves will have this waxy coating as well and right now i can show you as this little offset was created you can see that these faded wilted leaves here they had that waxy coating on them so all the leaves which this plant will create will have this waxy coating on them but actually there is a tricky part about this this coating on the leaf it can be easily brushed off and I mean I, if I would touch this leaf the coating will be gone from the leaf it's really 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 easy to brush this coating from the leaf this waxy coating off and well once I brush it off it never comes back on that particular leaf so if a leaf was brushed for example into something or into your hands and the waxy coating was gone it won't ever come back to that particular leaf that's why it's good that the succulents always create new leaves but because as they create new leaves the older leaves will actually die so after a time if you just ruin the look of your plant and for example accidentally you brushed off a lot of leaves and there is no waxy coating on them only a little bit after a time those leaves will become the bottom leaves the bottom leaves will wilt away and the new leaves will be created and the new leaves will have that waxy coating on them again so once you brush off a waxy coating from a leaf that 
particular leaf won't ever have that waxy coating again. But as new leaves are created, new and new waxy coating will be created as well on the leaves. So the new leaves will actually have that waxy coating. Well, that's why you have to actually carefully handle your succulents which have this epicubicular wax on the leaves since it can be easily brushed off you don't want to ruin the look of your succulents and well we actually collect succulents because they are beautiful if you brush it off and just ruin the look that's that's not good if you repot your succulents you have to be really really careful not to ruin the look of it yeah it will grow back after a time but why wait if you can have a beautiful succulent right now as well. Some succulents have a thinner layer of this waxy coating, some have a more thick layer on the leaves, so it will depend how much you can ruin and brush off that waxy coating. So carefully handle your succulents, which are these types of bluish ones. Okay, so I think that was my topic for today and I hope it was useful and I hope it was interesting, at least the Dudleya Britonii part with the fun fact. So I hope you like this video, if you liked it, click on the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to this channel, you can also click on the bell button so you will get notified if I upload a new video, also subscribe to my other channel and you can follow me on Instagram and you will find all the links down in the info box and See you next time. Bye, guys.